Welcome to the Humboldt Axe YouTube channel. I'm Doc, and this time we're going to talk about the double bit Adirondack handle, its design, and uh, how these old school followers came up with the idea. So uh, stay tuned, hang with me, and let's get to it. doing well gotten a few questions whoop, about uh, the double bit Adirondack handles so what I decided I was gonna do is do my best to explain it and uh, the idea behind the design other than they just look cool huh? but, uh, pardon me let's go out to my shop or my shed, I should say, and uh, grab some handles. The uh, Adirondack handles are hard to come by, to be honest. I've got a, I've got a few, but they are not cheap. So let me. Uh, I got a bunch of them up here. So I keep all my handles. Let me uh, let me set this thing up so I can Not hold this camera like a dork and try to do my best to explain The idea behind the double bit Adirondack handle which is really curved like a single bit and uh, For the old-school faller. So let me uh, let me get this thing set up Well, I'll do my best to explain it. Um, let's look. Let me grab a few. Here's a 36. Yeah. 32. Uh, yeah. All right. And here's a 36. For the most part, the axes that I make are, I make 28, 32, and 36. So, uh, first of all, let me here's a good example. So these Adirondack handles, I know you see that, but uh, they got the bent grip, like a single bit handle. And uh, I grip all my axes, but maybe I should put it down here on the cabinet. Let's do this. Let's try this. The, uh, you see it? Yeah. I mean, there's no real secrets here. This is just basically a double bit handle with a single bit curve, except it ain't. And then the, so the idea behind it, these old heads, let me see if I can find a good example. Well, if you look at these old heads like these, the old faller bits, a lot of these are reversible. And even the, the uh, Adirondack handles that I put on double bits, most of them are reversible. But the old school falling heads, the bit on one side is shorter than the other one. And the reason is they'd use the, uh, the shorter bit to debark the tree and they use a longer bit to get to going. So some old school faller came up with the idea of, it, it's so much more ergonomical on these single bit handles because they're curved. And uh, so they basically just took that idea, put the double bit on there. Because when you go to debark the tree, you, you, you're you choking up and you use a short bit to debark and then they flip it over and you get the best of both worlds. So that's the, the, the basic idea behind it. It's not like it's rocket science, but um, that's the idea behind it. 36 is the same. Yeah, I think you can. So this is a this is an Adirondack fitted for a double bit, and this is a single bit. This one has less curve on it, um, but that's why you see my double bit hand. I grip all of mine, and then basically I flip it over, and I'll grip the shorter side. Just really, what I'm doing is just tip of the cap to the old school followers. That's why I do this. 
So you'll see all my double bit handles. I grip the top of them. That's why these are here. It's not necessary. I mean, other than it looks really cool, but it's just sort of a tip of a hat and, and uh, an ode to the old school fallers that, that uh, use these handles. And so um, all my double bits, my Adirondacks anyways, um, I do that with. Here's an, here's an example of one right here. This is an old, this is a five pound head, just under. And the bit on this side, again, the bit length from here to here is shorter from than it is from here to here. So I take the short bit and I grip the top of it. Again, you're choking up when you debark and then these guys would flip it over and they'd get to work on them. So that's why I mount all my heads like that. Man, that one looked cool, huh? That was a purple one. It's American Axe head. This is an old bit. Man, it's nice. Anyway, so that's why I do that. And then the other way I grip my double bits. It just depends who I'm making them for. Here, let's do this. It just depends who I'm making them for and why, you know. Here, let's do this. The, uh, see that okay? Yeah. So it depends. So I'll grip my double bits like this. You know what I mean? Just with for, because they're straight handles, you know? Maybe you can see that proper or not. It's just another way to do it. I just take my rasp and I make it like that. And I also make what's called an octo grip. Here's a good example. And I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that, but I make it so, you, you know, this is a straight handle double. It's about a four pound bit. This one's the same on either side. Most of the bits that I have are like that, but some of the old school faller bits that I get are um, longer on one end. But I'll make an octo grip on it. Basically, I just square this piece of it off with a, with a I've got a, a straight draw knife and I'll make a curve here and I'll make a curve here and I'll kind of straighten this out on that side. Same thing on this over here. It's just an octo grip, you know, some of the, guys that uh, make axes, they, they, it seems pretty basic, but you know, people want to know what I'm doing, or at least I get the questions. Um, anyway, look at this little saddle axe. This one came out cool, but I gripped it with, you know what I mean? I just like having a little butt at the end. You can't take too much wood off. This is a little 28 saddle. It's a Firestone. Man, this thing's cool, huh? So uh, yeah, that's it. Short video. I just wanted to go through and a little bit about the Adirondack handles. They are not cheap, at least as far as the ones I have. There's a guy out of South Carolina. He's an he's an Amish guy, and um, and um, so he's maybe quite a few. I've got I just buy whatever he has on hand, and um, and I don't know that he's making them anymore. I'm gonna have to try to get a hold of him, but they're definitely not cheap. They you, you have them just like a regular straight handled um, double bit axe, but. I really like the double bit axes. They're just cool. I split all my wood with them. And uh, there's a technique to, you know, flick or flapjack or bounce, whatever you want to call it. So uh, anyway, so I'd make a quick video, explain the, uh, ouch, mosquitoes, man. It gets hot around here and uh, the mosquitoes hatch and then they go away because it's fall now here in Humboldt. So anyway, I digress. The uh, Just want to talk to you real quick about the Adirondack and what the idea behind the design, the ergonomic design of the single bit, man, I do a double bit handle and, and the idea of choking up to debark the tree with those shorter bits and then they flip them back around and then they get to, they get to chop them. Now, again, that's for the, for the old school double bits where you'll actually see the difference between the length of the bits. If you look down on them, you can tell so, uh, but then again, most of the double bits that I hang or majority of them are, are reversible. They're the same on either side. I just, I really dig the double bits. So anyway, I appreciate everybody's watching and uh, that's it. So if you have any more questions, you can write them down in the comments. Um, if I miss part of it, there's a lot of history to axes. It's one of the reasons I got into doing this and, uh, and I've been making them for a number of years. I started the YouTube channel not that long ago, really just to share what I'm doing. It's I'm just one of many. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of people out there making some pretty killer axes, and uh, primarily what I've been doing lately is doing their display axes. Let's be honest. I mean they're all usable. I use all of mine, but a lot of the axes because of the way I've I've just started finishing them and 
and uh, and doing them that way. And I make them for, you know, for folks is for weddings. And I've done a few for my cousins. And um, I did one for my friend who retired not too long ago from uh, AT&T uh, Pacific Bell. Kenny Taggart, I love you, man. Appreciate you. So um, that's really been my focus here lately. So anyway, thanks so much. Take care. Well, thank you so much for watching. My family and I greatly appreciate all the support we've received. We're very grateful. So uh, please be sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. And just remember, celebrate others, respect yourself, because love is powerful, man. I'll see you on the next one.